So there are two main ways that you can find out at home what's going to be the best type of shoe for you. Um, the best way is to be able to look at the bottom of the shoe that you're currently running in and check the wear pattern for excessive wear on different areas of the shoe. And this will tell you exactly how your shoe is wearing when you're actually running, which is what you're going to be doing in the shoe. Um, the second way that you can do this is you can do what's called the wet foot test where you um, are going to be able to see more how the shape of your foot is rather than um, what it actually does while you're running, but this is still a pretty good indicator of what type of shoe you'll need to be in in the long run. Right, so ideally, um, the wear pattern on the bottom of your shoe, um, biomechanically the most efficient way is if you're going to be slightly on the heel and then you'll want to roll through and toe off on your big toe, so most of the wear should be right through the middle of the forefoot. Um, if you happen to be an overpronator, you're going to see a lot more wear on the inside of the heel and then excessively on the inside of the forefoot. Um, if this is the kind of wear pattern you're seeing on your shoe, you would definitely want to go with more of a stability shoe. And then if you're an oversupinator, you'll see that the wear on the outside of the heel and then it's going to continue along the outside of the forefoot um, more as if you're pushing off on your little toe. And that's definitely going to be an indicator of somebody who needs to be in a neutral shoe. Um, if you have too much support under your arch and you have a foot strike like that, it's just going to push you to the outside even more and exacerbate the problem. Another way you can find out at home what kind of shoe you're going to need is called the wet foot test. Um, basically all you need is some cardboard and some water. Uh, you can also use a brown paper bag that works very well. Um, basically all you need to do is spray down the bottom of your foot, um, get it a little bit wet, and then stand on one foot with your weight entirely on that foot uh, on top of the cardboard. And then when you step off you'll be able to see the pattern of your, your foot. So there will be three basic outcomes for the wet foot test. Um, one would be if you see a large wide pattern on, on the cardboard. Um, if the arch area is completely filled in, then you're most likely going to need a stability shoe because obviously you have a, a lower arch and you're going to see that pressed into the cardboard on, um, with the water. Um, if you have a, a higher arch, you're going to see basically just a, a thin outline on the outer edge of your foot and that's going to indicate that your arch isn't touching the ground and you're going to most likely need more of a uh, neutral shoe. Um, if you end up falling somewhere in between that, uh, it's probably best then to look at the wear pattern on the bottom of your shoe to kind of help assess whether or not you're going to need more of a stability shoe or more of a neutral shoe.